everyone. So today we are processing our sweet corn and the boys really enjoy corn on the cob. All winter long they ask me for corn on the cob and the only corn on the cob you can get in Michigan is the little green giant half ear or a third of an ear cobs and there's about nine of them in a pack. These guys can really pack away the corn. They're little guys but they can eat two or three ears each. Um, little Bethany is now a year and a half and she can eat a whole ear by herself. So I came across this really great trick on the Whizbang website, so I wanted to show you about it. We use these poultry shrink bags for processing our chickens, our ducks, and I've made videos on that in the past, so I wanted to show you how you could use them with the corn. And the only thing that you have to remember when you're doing the corn is you need a way for the air to escape from the bag. Uh, normally I don't do the hole puncturing, um, a little spot of freezer tape or a label sticker will cover the punch hole. It also does shrink back up also when you um, do the pot of water to shrink it. So it's the same basic concept. Um, if you've never done corn before, we're doing corn on the cob. Um, this is a Michigan sweet corn variety. First you start with peeling off the husk and any of the silks. Wash your corn and then you want to blanch it. Different varieties of corn um, have different suggestions for how long you do it. Um, the website I found said nine minutes. A tried and true neighbor told me five minutes, no more than five minutes, because this is such a sweet variety that it actually turns kind of starchy and loses the flavor if you go much longer. So to blanch, boiling hot water, you can do about 20 ears in a canner pot. So we started with that. Set the timer for five minutes once it got um, in the pot, not when it returns to boil. Unless it's so full, then you can, you know, a minute or two isn't going to make a huge, huge difference. So, five minutes. Then, cold water bath to stop the cooking process. And it has to be ice water with cold water also. We have really, really cold um, well water. So I did that with a change of water for my last batches because I ran out of ice. It's not a bad idea to spend the dollar to get frozen um, bags of ice at the party store. So I got it set in the um, cold bath here and then I transfer it over to the empty sink. First of all, make sure that your sink is clean and sanitized since you're putting food into it. Um, you don't want some dirty dish scum in there or anything. Uh, so just start with that process also. Um, then I go to bagging it, and with these bags, I believe they were uh, 7 inch by 9 inch maybe, but it's the standard size bag. So I alternate the ears so that it takes up less space in the bag by doing the wide end, um, switching every other one. And if you want to cut these into smaller sections, this is a great time to do that also. Um, as I'm waiting for my next batch, like if I'm moving some from the canning bath, then I have a batch that's already cold and out of the water. I figure it's best to get as much water drained from the ears of corn before you process it because you don't want that water just stuck on there causing freezer burn. Um, this is a impulse sealer. Um, some people call them an impulse bag sealer. This uh, particular model is an 18 inch bar and it works really good because if I'm doing meat, like big cuts of meat, ribs or anything, I can actually cut these bags in half and make my own seal on it, which makes it a lot uh, nicer, a lot more usable for us. So I've got this set on a five. So you just close your bag down and try to get it as close to the corn as possible without making your corn roll. And then you just hold that down. That red light lights up and lets you know that it's done. The reason I like this better than the food saver, the food saver tray gets so filled full of water and for doing large batches of preserving like this, it always overheats. Um, then you're messing around with that failing. My food saver is, um, I forget which model, there's videos on it. It's one of the more expensive ones, not a Walmart one. I think I got it at Macy's and it was roughly um, $180. So 
So for that to be overheating, you can get this in a 12 inch, they have an eight inch um, bar. I went with the bigger one just because there's no point in me having two and it's not taking a lot of electricity to run one a little bigger. So now we have a sealed bag. You can cut off this excess and you can save the rest of it, which would be really handy for um, smaller cuts of meat, um, even asparagus or small batches of vegetables. And what we're going to do next is, with a push pin, make a small hole, and you can mark it with a marker. Um, I find usually the mark is going to disappear. So just plan on putting a label. If you're consistent and you put that pin mark in the same spot all the time, then you're going to be able to find it and you can put um, freezer tape over the top. Now for the hot water bath to shrink wrap this, and I've been leaving the handle on and just Cut, you can cut it off later, but it's very helpful for dipping it. So this is one bag that's complete. This dipping part takes anywhere from maybe five to 15 seconds, not very long at all. Um, if you're not sure that it's sealed, you can always pull it back up, pop another hole, and just make sure that you don't have a lot of air. So I'm going over to the hot water bath. It's good to use a pair of tongs or a wooden spatula to just kind of hold it down. Now I let that corn kind of roll that time so it's not going to be flat, but I try to keep them flat so that they can freeze nice and flat um, for the shelf space. And then I just got a towel sitting here, a bath towel, to go back. and let those drain. So without a bunch of chatter, I'll just finish this up so you can see it. We were really lucky this year. It was real wet and we didn't get a garden. This was all corn actually given to me by a neighbor. And you do want to be careful because you're using hot water. If you've noticed at all, we have a lot of gadgets for processing food. Um, I guess you could say that we're preppers at this point. Um, a lot of the jobs we found have gotten easier with the tools that we've purchased and have on hand. So don't forget to push pin it. And remember that you're using hot water here, so be careful there. I'm only handling this by the flap. So if you don't cut it off, it does make a real handy handle for you. If you dip the whole thing, like I just did, it does make it harder to get out, but your uh, flap will shrink also. 
then if you don't want to do any cutting, you really don't have to. Um, some of these heat sealers do come with a cutter built into them. The price range jumped drastically for it. Maybe $60 or $50 extra. And to me, that just wasn't worth it. We picked the sweet corn this morning. This is roughly 65 ears of corn. And really the shelling it was the most time consuming part of it. So anyways, you can hear the baby screaming. You get the idea. So thanks for watching everyone. Ask me questions and subscribe. We'll answer any questions the best we can. Bye.